I was failing out of school when I was a senior. I, I, I didn't, you know, junior, I just, I didn't care about school. I never felt like I fit in. I had good friends, but I, I was just uh, always kind of an oddball. You take standardized tests for the state of Florida. And, you know, I was failing English. I got a 99th percentile on the English test. I was failing physics and I got 98th percentile on the physics test. And so my counselor uh, called me down. He simply asked me why I insisted on throwing my life away. I wasn't really a good kid. I wasn't a bad kid, but uh, I was fairly strong-willed. My father-in-law was at Orange County Sheriff's Reserve, so I got interested in that. In the Sheriff's Department, you know, I went through all parts of that. I worked, I worked, uh, started off in the Civil Division, uh, working as a bailiff in court. Then I went uh, to patrol. I worked on patrol. Uh, got promoted to grade one investigator, went to warrants, worked misdemeanor warrants, got promoted to deputy or investigator two, started working fugitives. I really enjoyed working fugitives. There was hardly anything more fun than hunting people. I would tease the FBI because I would catch their guys and I'd say, well, you know who's, what it's going to say in the paper tomorrow, you know, FBI captures. I said, but you and I know who got them. So I got recruited by the FBI, uh, did my testing and interviews for the FBI and was accepted. I got out went in business with my father and we had NAPA auto parts stores. We ended up with seven of them. I managed them, ran them. During that time I had a skin diving accident and had what's called a cerebral air embolus or an arterial gas embolus, an AGE. I was totally paralyzed on one side and that was my wake-up call. UCLA has a career counseling center. That was the best thing I ever did. I went to the career counseling center. 56 hours of testing and counseling. Now, long story short, my highest three correlations were biomedical engineer, uh, geophysicist, and emergency physician. It requires you to think on your feet. If you're going to be a good emergency physician, you have to have a tremendous uh, knowledge base. You have to know something about everything in medicine. You can never know it all, so the challenge is ultimately always there every single day. Dale possesses uh, really essential leadership skills, the kind of things you can't read in a book or you can't learn in school. He has the ability to rally people around him for the right reasons, to take care of patients, to do the right thing even though it's painful or difficult. As a nurse, he's a perfect physician to work with because he gives you autonomy but keeps you so safe because he really has eyes on everything that's going on. I have personally uh, witnessed his bedside manner and the tender way he cares for patients to his strong advocacy for those who are less fortunate. Uh, his commitment and dedication to teaching uh, is second to none. I've, uh, he's inspired countless of individuals to uh, pursue medicine. We're there 24-7. We're the safety net of the community uh, and w you know we are that stop where you come when you can't go anyplace else and I love that. If you go into the arena we want to have the best medical center of all of NASCAR and all of racing. We want to we want to know that we provide the best medical care. We want to know for the, the the SWAT docs program that we have the best docs on scene to take care of our officers when they're out in those critical situations. The hardest part about the aging process is knowing all the things that you still want to do and that you could do but you can't do because you're limited. He has got so much energy and so much um, that he wants to do uh, here at UMC in our community in the state of Nevada. So again, I don't see him slowing down one bit. He's somebody who continually reinvents himself. So, you know, he's been um, in law enforcement and then he entered medicine late and uh, rose in emergency medicine to actually become a very prominent figure regionally and nationally. I, I just love 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 working with him on a clinical basis he's very knowledgeable um, and tireless i think in taking care of the patients i don't want to ever stop using my brain because i think if you stop using your brain everything just everything else goes away if i had something to do in the future that would probably be one of the biggest things is if i can keep helping other people make their dreams come true i have fun every day do I have bad days? I do, but when I come into the emergency department, there are no bad days. You straighten up, you smile, and you take care of people.